I was freakishly tall for a Greek girl. I had terrible skin and very curly hair and always second-guessed myself. And that's why my advice to my younger self and to my daughters now who are 21 and 23 and to any other young woman is to really stop listening to the voices in our head, what I call the obnoxious roommate living in our head that constantly puts us down, and to also um, embrace failure. To remember what my mom used to say to me, which is that failure is not the opposite of success. It's a stepping stone to success. My second book, which I wrote when I was 27, um, was rejected by 36 publishers. I remember how devastating that felt, partly because it seemed like I had picked the wrong career and I really should do something else, and partly because I had run out of money. And I was living in London at the time, and I remember walking down St. James Street and um, seeing Barclays Bank and walking in and asking to see the manager and asking for a loan, which he gave me even though I had no assets. And uh, it changed my life because it made it possible for me to hold everything together until finally I got an acceptance. But also it made me realize that so often in life, um, it's a little bit like in fairy tales when the hero or the heroine are lost in a dark forest and helpful animals appear out of nowhere to help them find their way. Well, this bank manager was a kind of helpful animal, so there are a lot of helpful animals disguised as human beings, bank managers or whatever, who help us along the way. So approaching life with a certain amount of trust and uh, willingness to take risks is key to succeeding.